time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the welterweights. And again, about scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a Grand Prix champion, now on a seven-fight winning streak. His professional record, 40 wins with just five losses. 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, three inches tall, 1.90 meters, he weighed in at 169.3 pounds, 76.8 kilos. Fighting out of the Netherlands and currently ranked number six in the Glory World Rankings, here's Chico Luffy Quasi. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, a Dutch and European amateur champion. As a professional, 21 wins with just five losses, 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, 11 inches tall, 1.82 meters, he weighed in at 167 and one half pounds and even 76 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Netherlands and is ranked number four in the Glory World Rankings. Here is Robin King of the Ring Cheering. And your referee for this contest is Yusuf Aknik. Fighters. Okay, you know the rules. I want to clean a fair fight. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Okay, touch gloves, take a step back. So here we go. This should be a barn burner welterweight division. Robin Chirich in the white gloves, Chico Kwasi in the black. Let's see how Chirich is going to get in on this long reach. Alrighty, with those unorthodox combination, one two low kick. Chico Kwasi reminds me a little bit of, remember Mr. Cool, Ivan Dannenberg? Yeah, that nice height, knows how to use it well. Both technical. Nice inside defense for Chico as well. Yeah, Big Mike said when they put Kwasi in the ring to spar, they, they can't hold him back. He just goes 100% all the time. You have no idea what he's going to throw. He's throwing Ooh. big power punches. He caught him coming in with a straight left, almost a jab. Yeah, well, your traditional combination would be like a left jab, right low kick, where Chico will mix it up. He'll throw a jab left kick to the head. He'll throw a right hand, right low kick. So it's those unorthodox combination and angles that make him dangerous. Variety is the spice of life. Showing good defense in that mid-range, too. Cheers is going to have to find a way to counter something. Yeah, wait for Cheers to kind of wake up here a little bit. I just think it's going to take a little while to figure Quasi out. Oh, big high kick again. But you see that range and range. As soon as Church thinks that he's in range to throw, Quasi just kind of distance manages himself out and avoids the counter strikes. Straight right final hands for Church. They sound good, Joe, but it looks like they're being blocked. Yeah, kicked off the arm. Still, arm kicks still do damage. Yeah, we... Ooh, that, that touched the liver, too. Good placement from Church. Step back. Take a step back. He's known for those spinning back fists, spinning back kicks, knees. There's big Mike Passanier, one of the premier kickboxing trainers in the world. Break, step back. Both, step back. Step back. Fight. Spinning attack didn't quite come through for Chirich. Blake, step back, both. Step He's back. He's only ventured above the legs once, and it was that nice body kick. Yeah, against a tall fighter like that, you got to keep committed to those legs. You got to try. But you see how Chico just slides out so efficiently. At Glory 85, you may have seen Chico's younger brother. Fabio Quasi, or his older brother, step back, step back. Fabio Quasi. Yeah, kind of looks similar, but ooh. Ooh, again, those back kicks are going, but here comes Chico with the pressure. Stop. Oh, 
Oh, he's got some bling. The king has bling in his mouth. The king of the ring. Signature strikes. You know, we pretty much saw it there. The back kick. He threw it twice, landed once, clean. The other time, not so much. And he is a former Fusion champion. So when we asked him, hey, are you upset they went ahead and threw you with Chico? He goes, no, I'm a champ. I should be able to beat these guys. Yeah, he knows he's got to beat all the top guys to get where he wants to go. And Chico is one of those guys. Nicknamed Luffy, which is apparently an anime character that has long arms that are very stretchy. I don't know it myself personally. Signature strikes, jabs, and kicks. Nice long rangey. You're gonna see him. He's a finisher. He uses his range and the way he sets things up, uses his jab, but there he got hit with that spinning back kick to the White liver. Corner, black corner, let's go. Let's see if Kwasi can keep up this Fight. pace. He outworked Chirich, no doubt about it, there in round one. Let's see how the judges have it. Open scoring in effects. All five for Kwasi. Yeah, I'm loving that long jab left head kick from Kwasi. And just so you know, it is those scores are being posted in the arena on the Big Tron, so the trainers in their corners can see exactly where these fighters stand. Look at these unorthodox combinations. Now, left hook to the body, left back, knee. Back, 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 step back, step back. Really attacking that liver. Break. He's just not allowing Church to get into any sort of rhythm. No, being a tall fighter, you have to be able to manage distance to be great. And he's good at it. Yep. To Johnny Bestati, one of the masters at that, too. Yep. And who actually beat Petch in his last fight. Yep, there's those unorthodox combos again. Right hand, right low kick. Break, break, break. No action, no action. Step back. I believe Mike will be joining us on commentary. Break, break, break. no action. Step back. At Collision, when Plazabot fights Cookie Asaro because he's the trainer for both fighters. Yeah, that's going to be some good insight Blake. to have Big Mike close, with us. Close, close. Says he's going to have a special t-shirt made. Ooh. <laughs> he's got to take some style lessons from his guys, maybe like Myrtle. Myrtle Grunhardt, yes. Should dress him for the fight. Break! Stop. Step back, step back, step back. We've seen Mike in the game for so long with the older fighters like Bader Hari, Joe, but now he's got some some young guns too. Yeah, he's got almost all the top big heavyweights, and now Chico really making a name for himself amongst those elite heavyweights. Bossy's starting to dominate this round. Sirich needs something. Yeah, and you got to think too. Look at Bossy's volume. He hasn't stopped throwing. He just keeps coming after you, either long or he just crashes that distance with these nasty left hook, left knees. Right hand, left uppercut, changing angles with that left hand now. Chico's left side. That left hand, left kick, left knee. And then that running left uppercut scores for Chico. Chirish just can't figure out the distance. No, I mean, he's just too long and Chico's too unorthodox. Oh, and there's a knee that connects. Deep breath from stop, 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 stop. Out comes the mouthpiece, and he's going to need Time those stop. few seconds. Yeah, it was a front kick to the face that well, knocked that mouth guard out. That's Big Time. Mike. Fight. No mistake about it. He's barking in Dutch for him to go for it. Oh, yeah, they want a knockout. Oh, got caught coming in this time, but ooh. Yeah, that's what Church needs to do, though. Kind of sit in the pocket. If you're going to eat one, keep going. And that's what he's doing. That right hand has been thrown about four times. So yeah, he needs maybe a nice right overhand counter of some sort, but easier said than done. Glory has a new broadcast partner where you can stream Glory 24-7. Just log on to Plex.tv and never miss any of the action. Available to those outside of the Netherlands and Japan. Also on Fubo Television and Fight TV. Beautiful Bella letting us know it is time for round three. 
And Joe, something's got to change for Robin Chirich. Yeah, I mean, it's just more opening up on that mid-range. He's going to have to counter a little bit more, but even in the corner, he's looking a little bit defeated, but he's an experienced man, so he'll come out. He'll dig White deep. corner, black corner. Well, he Let's told us he likes somebody. to go fishing because it White. helps his patience and improves his fighting mindset. He doesn't need patience right now, does no. he? No, he needs a lot of urgency. But cheap goes that fighter. Yeah. That it's a big fish he's got to reel in, doesn't he? <laughs> exactly. Two rounds to none for Kwasi. Ooh, that, that, ah, there's that left hand head kick. And Chirich covering up, but this is where he's been dangerous because he throws that right hand. Now Chirich firing out of that high guard. That's what he's got to do right after maybe that big right hand, but... Oh, got him again. And how has Chirich not gone down? I'm telling you, that left side of Chico back, Quasi back, is back. something special. Step back, step back. Left step hand, back. either it's a jab, a left hook, a left knee, a left head kick. Oh, oh spinning attack, and that one connected. And just when you think Chirich is gone, he does that. Yeah, Chirich, it was a spinning back kick set up to a spinning hook kick. That's his Taekwondo coming out. His father loved that. But you got to pull out all the stops. He needs a knockdown. Oh, boy, that was just a bone-crushing left hand. It's that angle he throws it at, too. It's either left uppercut, left up jab, left hooks to the body. And then all of a sudden, a fast left kick comes out of nowhere. Well, Chirich may win the toughest competitor of the night award for these shots he's taken and occasionally landed. Break, stop, let's stop. He's step landed step a few step big shots. Quasi just eats it. No problem. Yeah, it was almost what a Leco Buster that put out Chico Quasi from Cheers, the, the kick that Bader Hari made famous. Yeah, Stefan Leco was actually in attendance. Really? Yeah. He was at Wayans and now he's watching. I saw him earlier. And look at Chico. He's got a minute and change to finish this. Break. But I don't Step know if Cheers is going to go out. Plus. I don't know. He's willing to go out on his shield, it seems. Well, it was a big crossroads fight, as you mentioned. The future is very bright for the winner of this contest. Mike calling for the uppercut. Yep, changing angles with that left hand. I think that's his key. He feints that right hand, and then you have no idea what direction that left hand is going. See that right hand faint, and then that left hand comes with a lot of power because he loads it up with that right hand feint. Under 30 to go. Has Chico thrown his best kicks and punches the fight? Boy, Sirich. Here we go. Last chance for Chirich to land a big right hand. And he connects. I use the ropes. So fantastic performance by Chico Quasi in his second glory fight. And Joe, the sky seems to be the limit. Yeah, I know he likes his knockouts, but I think this was a great fight for him to beat the number four in the division, how technical he was, the way he set up his strikes. Man, he's a special fighter to watch, and I'm excited to see more of him. Big Cookie Asaro, who also trains in Mike's gym, giving him a big thumbs up. It was a great performance, and Joe, it was this simple. Chirich was not going anywhere, no matter what you hit him with. Yeah, I mean, Chirich is in there, tough, durable, good counters, trying to mix spectacular offense, but when you're a fighter like Chico who knows how to use range, that's a difficult fighter in anyone. Look at guys like Semi Shelt and all these big, tall fighters. To Johnny, like you said, getting inside of these guys who have good jabs, you know, good unorthodox striking, it's, it's just almost impossible. Here are the highlights from this welterweight showdown and it was chico from the opening bell to the finish yeah mixing things up low kicks left head kicks different angled left hands the way he mixed his knees but like we keep saying church was very game found a nice spinning back kick to the liver there just made chico come forward and the second round same kind of thing chico being long unorthodox nice combination work mixing his levels and just cheer it's trying to find anything trying to throw big overhands left hooks just all domination from Chico Quasi.
obviously Cheerich with some good moment trying to pull, find an entry, but you see Quasi exiting out. As soon as you think he's taking a break, he jumps back in. Just can't wait to see more of him. And look at these statistics from Chico Quasi. He threw double the amount and landed triple the amount of strikes as Robin Cheerich. But again, give credit to the number four ranked Wil welterweight. He took so many blows and refused to go down. And look at these strikes thrown per minute. These are off the charts. Chico with an epic display here in Essen, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same. 30-27, a unanimous decision. All for your winner, Chico Quasi! All right, I'm here with your winner, Chico Quasi. I know you like knockouts, my man, but how was this performance for you? Yes, here we are again, getting interviewed by Joseph Antony. Of course I got the win, but of course I want to get the knockout, but next time I promise you that. Next fight I want Jay over me, even though he's gonna fight for the title. If you win or lose, I want him next. Who's? Well, you just came in here as number six, you beat number four, so Overmere is the guy you want, but was this, the style that we see from you, can you get much better for us? I can get much better. I got unlimited potential. It's just that it's a hard to, uh, opponent with uh, good uh, back kicks, a different style, but my next opponent will get knocked out in his ring, for sure. And what do you attribute all your success to? You come from a great team, a great camp. Give me your thoughts and your thanks to them. Of course, Mike made my style. Got a little bit of my own craziness in my style, but Mike got the basics for me, and he made me the fighter who I am today. And I'm gonna show my next fight that I will be number one or the champion of this division. All right, you're one of the welterweights. We're excited to see more of your winner, Chico Quasi. Chico Quasi with his 38th professional win. He only has four defeats and 25 knockouts. So another win for Mike's gym.